Hi, I'm Patrick Bay David, your host of Value Team and Weekly. And today I want to talk to you about the three people we go to when we're going through a very difficult time in our lives. You know, life is pretty interesting, isn't it? You know, no matter how good we are or how great we are or how bad we are, it doesn't matter. We're all going to go through some tough times. But when we go through tough times, there are three people we tend to want to go see, right? And the, the people we see and, and, and what we do with these people we'll see will determine a lot on what happens with our lives, if it keeps improving or if it stays the same. Let me talk about the first kind of people we like to go see when a challenging time happens in our lives. For instance, it could be a relational problem. You and your spouse are going through a tough time. Uh, maybe a breakup, maybe separation. Maybe it could be a job. You got fired or a promotion was passed up on you or it could be health challenges. You know, you're having a hard time with your knees, your ankles, your weight. It could be something you're going through health, health challenges. And we go to one of these three people. But the first kind of people we like to go see uh, uh, is just to kind of uh, make us feel good about ourselves. And I call them the pick-me-upper. Here's an example of a pick-me-upper. What are you saying? What I'm saying is all I really want is someone to hold me and tell me that everything is going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right. So that kind of gives you an idea about the pick-me-upper, right? The next kind of person we may go to, I like to call the Socratic advisor. And here's what the Socratic advisor could look like. You feel like you're alone, Will? <laughs> what? Do you have a soulmate? Do I have a to find that somebody who challenges you so that kind of gives you an idea of the socratic advisor asks a lot of questions gets you thinking but here's the last one the last one i like to call the excuse killer this is what an excuse killer could sound like you know this scene from rocky never gets old every time i hear mickey's voice it just gets me excited you know when i was a little kid watching rocky but anyways let's go back to the three different characters here you got to realize that there is not one that is more important than the other one. This doesn't mean the pick-me-upper is more important than a Socratic advisor than more important than the excuse killer. In a sports team, sports teams typically have all three characters playing in the quarterback's mind or the lead player's mind that somebody picks them up, somebody takes the excuses away, and somebody questions them to make them thinking. But what I want you to think about is the pros and cons of each one because you know, if you only go to the pick-me-upper, the pick-me-upper is going to say things like this. You know, that person doesn't know what they're talking about. Honey, you're awesome. You're great. I love you so much. If I were them, you know, I would give you the promotion. If your, your, your husband doesn't know this, your wife doesn't know how special you are, they got to figure out, your, your boyfriend doesn't know. If you only go to that, what the pro is, is you feel better. The con is you're not improving. Then you have the Socratic advisor. The Socratic advisor is great because they make you question things, that they say things like, well, how do you think the other person feels based on what you did? Why do you think that person is so upset with you? Why do you think you didn't get the promotion? Why did you get fired? What could you have done better to not get fired at your next job? You know, those kinds of questions. And you sit there and you question and you say, well, that's right. Maybe I am being kind of selfish. Maybe I'm only thinking about myself. And the last one, the, the excuse killer, they just don't buy any of your excuses. And a lot of times we don't like to go to the last one because the last one is just going to, you know, give it to your right back and tell you're making a bunch of excuses. You are being lazy. You got fired. I would have fired you myself as well. There's a reason why they fired you. You're not improving. You know, you make a bunch of excuses. You know, you, you're not exercising. There's a reason why you have back problems. When's the last time you went into the gym? Your diet sucks. They give you that message so it all becomes more on you, right? And, you know, when you look at this whole thing, it's important to categorize people in all those three areas. You could have one person that plays two roles. One person could be a, the excuse killer and the Socratic advisor. You could have somebody that's a very good, you know, pick-me-upper and Socratic advisor, right? So you got to determine those three people in your lives. But who you go to the most will say a lot about you. Because if you only like to go to the pick-me-upper, well, you're not improving a lot. And if you only like to go to the excuse killer, you're not you know, making yourself also know that you're not perfect, you don't need to be perfect. So all of those balance each other up for you to be able to take your business, yourself, your leadership level, your, your identity to a whole different level. It's my message of the week to you, and please be sure to subscribe and share this video.